Welcome everyone. Today I have the McFarlane Mortal Kombat 11 Baraka action figure and I am very excited to be reviewing this figure today as it looks very cool. This figure is a variant of the original figure which was released a while back and I think it was two years ago or something like that. Now regarding the packaging it has the Mortal Kombat 11 logo on the left side. Then there's the image of Scorpion on the right side. There's also an image of Scorpion here at the back. Here's the top of the box and the bottom. Okay, let's now get this package open. Here's the figure out of the package. The head sculpt design is on point. In particular, the eyes are very detailed and the yellow portion of the eyes is very prominent and clear. In addition, the sharp, jagged, serrated teeth look great. Also, you can see the small, intricate details on the head sculpt, including the wrinkles and skin creases. So overall, this head sculpt looks very cool, and I really like this one much better compared to the first one. The sharp, bumpy skin on the arms displays a lot of detail and definition. Also, the skin areas on the torso look great as well. Furthermore, this particular Baraka figure has the Tarkatan General outfit on, which resembles his legendary classic clothing from the early Mortal Kombat games. The vest looks good as it has so much detail, especially around the strap areas and stuff. The belt with the skull image looks very good, and you can also see the silver armored sections around the belt area and the lower portion of the outfit. There are small arm blades protruding out of his forearms, which look excellent. In addition, the shin guards and armored sandals look good. Here's a view of the back, and I like the texturing on the back of his vest. Overall, I feel that the entire figure is an upgrade as everything looks more defined and many of the details and paint apps on the figure are fleshed out to a greater degree. So this figure looks great in every way. Baraka comes with four accessories. First, here's a look at his two arm blades, which have a bone-like appearance in terms of structure. They look very good. Then here's the brain, and it looks great. And you can see the hole right here, which allows the brain to be attached to the blades. Next, here's a Mortal Kombat base for the figure. Here's Baraka standing on top of the Mortal Kombat base. Then here he is, equipped with his arm blades. Next, here's another look at the figure, and you can also get a view of the brain attached to his blade. Let's now have a look at the articulation. The head moves up that much. It moves down that much. It tilts easily. And it turns from side to side very well. There are butterfly joints in these areas. The arms raise up all the way. Full arm rotation. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel with a hinge. App crunch. And he can only bend forward just a little due to the belt. He bends back that far. And you can't see it due to the vest, but he does have a diaphragm joint. However, it can't really move too much due to the vest area. Waist swivel. And there's something like a ball joint in the waist area, so he can pivot.
The legs split out to the sides is that much. Then they kick out forward that much. And they move back that much. Because a swivel above the knee. Double jointed knees. And they only bend back that much. There's a swivel at his ankle. The ankle can also pivot. Then the foot moves up that far. Then it moves down that far. Also, this part of the foot can move upward. So in conclusion, this figure looks amazing. The ferocious and primal appearance of the figure looks phenomenal. And the paint apps are very on point. The accessories look good as well. Overall, this is another solid Mortal Kombat figure from McFarlane. In addition, McFarlane also has another upcoming Mortal Kombat figure, which is Nightwolf. And I hope to be able to review him very soon. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And please leave a like and subscribe.